Stakers at the former Richland Mall and an update on a fire that broke out there about uh, two and a half hours ago. Yeah, the good news is we can tell you tonight that nobody was hurt and no firefighters were hurt while they were battling the blaze. At about 3.30 this afternoon, they were called to the scene and there was heavy fire coming from a pile of debris on one side of the corner. We now know after hearing from the fire chief a little earlier in the news hour that it started in the old movie theater. All right, our Darcy Strickland made her way out there. She's live on the scene. We saw some fire trucks leaving just a couple of moments ago, Darcy. It's the scene clearing up out there. It is JR and Andrea. The good news is Forest Drive is back open for anybody who is familiar with this area. We're currently standing in the parking lot of the Animal Hospital, and so you can see behind me, this is a very different scene that the video that we've been showing our viewers at home about two and a half hours ago when those flames were reaching far above uh, the demolition area. And so Chief Aubrey Jenkins talked to us just a couple of minutes ago about what they believe caused the fire. on the third floor where the old theater is. Sparks um, emitted from the, the, the torch and obviously caught on fire. Got up in the membranes in the roofing area and that's what caught on fire. Again, the good news, nobody was hurt. Columbia Richland Fire were able to respond quickly put the fire out in less than half an hour, and now Forest Drive is back open. Councilman Stephen Oliver, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate talking to us for a couple of minutes. Yes, ma'am, glad to be here. Obviously, this was not the type of excitement you were expecting to see on Forest Drive today. Not today, no ma'am, no uh, ma'am. Talk to us about what you know that happened today at the scene. So this is a very active construction site. You don't like to see accidents, but there's always potential for it. It sounds like maybe just a little accident, some building material caught on fire. Thankfully, City of Columbia uh, Fire Department, Forest Acres PD responded very quickly. Glad those guys were able to stay cool. Nobody was hurt. It's just something that happens sometimes on big construction jobs like this. Right. So we know demolition is going to continue for the next several months. When are you looking for an end date? Uh, they told us once they started, it would be 12 months or so. So they're making very good progress from what we've seen. Uh, you know, my business is here on Forest Drive, so I, I see it every day, and they're moving along at a very steady pace. This is 32 acres of land that has to be cleared. For our viewers at home who have been keeping up, what's the next step? What's the plan for this area? Well, we're going to see some uh, mixed use. We're going to see some new retail. We're going to see some uh, apartments. And we're just going to see a revitali revitalization of Forest Drive and Beltline. I mean, it's going to be great for Forest Acres. It's going to be great for the Midlands. And we're excited about it. This is just a little speed bump in the road today that, you know, unfortunately hurt everybody's commute on the way home. Affected a lot of businesses on Forest Drive, unfortunately. But it's an accident, and it happens sometimes. And the good news is nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. And, you know, just thank you again for FAPD and City of Columbia Fire Department for handling the situation so quickly. Councilman, thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. You. Again, the good news, the fire is out. Nobody was hurt. Forest Drive is back open. Obviously, this is always a very busy time. The 530 hour traffic is beginning to pick up. But what we're also seeing is that first responders, fire trucks and law enforcement are starting to clear the scene. So we're going to be here for you, Andrea and Jr. for the next half an hour, maybe an hour or so to make sure that we know for a fact that this area is clear and that um, law enforcement is going to be able to move forward with opening the road for everyone who is driving through this area. So we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. You sort of feel for the firefighters having to go out there oh in that my heat goodness. And, and battle this fire. Yes, absolutely. I'm yeah. glad nobody was hurt, but I know that at 3.30, that's about the hottest part of the day. Let's get things right over to Chief Meteorologist Efren Afonte for a quick look at your forecast.